Once you start sending logs into Curator, most likely you want to start using Curator CE here by going into the log activity to see those logs. So when you click on the log activity tab, by default you start looking at real-time streaming events. But you can also reset the search and, 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 and go back there. I mentioned this in a previous video, but one of the things that you uh, want to do is that there's, there's going to be a lot of uh, information coming from the curator box itself that you may not be interested at this particular time on them. So let me show you how you stop them temporarily uh, and how you stop them uh, in a more permanent way. So you click here on the pause button and and you do this not only for the console, but for any event. So let's say that you're watching a particular thing that you are monitoring and, and, and you don't care about this uh, this event, you can actually right click on any one of those and say filter on event name, not informational name, and then that thing is not going to show up again. You can actually do the same in here. Uh, and now if I do, for example, task added, I'm not interested on it. I'm going to filter a couple of those. And if I go back to the real-time option, you should not see those uh, coming again. And you see these filters in here. Those are the filters that I add by just right-clicking on the actual event. So this is one that I'm interested in. This is a Windows log that come from the uh, 212 machine where we added uh, Windows log. So. And again, to look into a particular event, you need to pause in here and then uh, you can always, you don't have to be always in real time, you can actually go back, let me go back uh, 15 minutes. Okay, I have all the events here in 15 minutes, but as you see there are 12 pages of, of those in here. I'm going to zoom in here, so that's a lot of stuff. Hmm. How can I make this uh, more specific, more, more, more sp uh, selective? So you can actually add a filter here and in the filter, for example, I can put the source IP and notice all the parameters that I have here. Um, you can put the, the source IP or the log source type. Uh, for example, let's go into log source index and I'm going to put here uh, Windows. I want the event from the from these Windows event only and bang I only get in my quick search not notice that this has been added in here and these are the events that I'm interested should I want to see the details into any one of these you just click on it and here you have them uh, you can see the, uh, all the all the text wrapped or you can actually see you know so in this format you can see it in hex you can see it in base 64 and curator is extracting the different fields in here the, the, the part that is interesting, and I'll, I'm going to put a short video on rules later, uh, is that, you know, these are the rules that this event is partially matching, okay? More on that later, but you, you may want to go back to this, uh, to this uh, portion uh, to see those. Now, if, if I go back to the log activity tab, when, when you click here, you, you erase all those filters. And you want to make a search that you want to save for later usage or you want to actually uh, put as a default search. You can actually uh, click here on their search and then you click new search. And in here, there are the, the default searches that Curator CE comes with. You can find that many of them might be useful and you don't need to create anything, uh, but you can actually do basic search. I'm going to show you also advanced searches in a minute. Those are the SQL searches that Curator CE can also do for you. Here you specify the time. Do I want it real time or I want in the last uh, five minutes and you specify the time here. Or you can select a specific interval that you want to see that. Uh, I'm not going to talk about data accumulation for now. Uh, in the next section, you select what columns do I want to see. Okay, you want to see, you know, you, you can 
make that very specific. And in here, I can, for example, specify the any parameter, source IP, for example. Uh, I want to get only the event whose uh, source IP is the Windows box that we just added, 172.16.60.212. And I add that filter. And when I click here, filter or search, then these are the last five minutes searches that I have. I can actually save that search for later use, and I'll give it a name Win Plain View Only and you can uh, specify whether you want all the users of uh, CE to use them whether you want to include them in my quick search if you select this button in here then that's going to show up here where it says quick searches and let's say that you want to filter some events that you don't want you can actually put all those criteria in here the stuff that you that you uh, only care about and then select that as the default search. Now when I uh, click back into log activity, the default search that I'm going to have, and you see the filter, always you see the filters here, is actually that one. So anytime I go into log activity, I'm only interested on that, on the last five minutes on that. And from here, you can actually uh, change the, 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 the time and you can actually say, well, what are, what do I want to see in here? How do I want to uh, group them? You know, and you can select, uh, for example, event name. Show those uh, by event name, and there's only two type of event names in here. Well, it's actually very simple. So again, some is a basic, very basic uh, video to show you how to navigate uh, around uh, the logs.